let's have children tell their story through an edited video. And this would be so amazing to have Pearson Foundation that's all about partnerships and extending the opportunities for children. And here is Spoons, all about partnerships and extending their opportunities for children. This is a match made in heaven. I love to cook and bake and anything that involved food for a really long time. When I heard that there was a program that involved both kids who, you know, I work for all day thinking what they want to read and, you know, what they like to think about and then my own love of cooking, I thought this is great. You know, I'd love to be involved in this program and Penguin gives us these great days off. I think it's two or three days that we can have of paid volunteer days. So I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to use those and, and go out and do some things that I love. So I joined with the Days of Taste program. The idea behind Days of Taste is to have youngsters connect where their food comes from with how it is prepared and ultimately how they eat it and to make some good choices about the types of foods that they eat. And so we emphasize local, fresh uh, kinds of seasonally available food. I think as a, as a children's book editor, I think all day about what kids want to read, about what they're like, what they're thinking all the time. So I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity for me to kind of get out there and, and just know what kids are doing and what they're thinking and, and what their lives are like. And then once I'd been through that and, and had been involved with it, I thought, you know, Penguin could give back a lot to this program. We have all these great cookbooks and, you know, working for DK, we had these, you know, amazing resources. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be great to get books for the kids in the classrooms? I approached the Pearson Foundation and they were really excited. You know, they're like, well, why don't you pick five books and we can donate, you know, five to each classroom. And there are a lot of classrooms in Days of Taste. So it was a really big donation for Pearson. And so they told me as well that there was a program called the Digital Arts Alliance that they had had been working with and you know they wanted kids to make documentaries of their experiences and different kinds of things and I thought wow we could have you know documentaries about days of taste and this this whole experience that they've just had. The children they were focusing all the time and engaged in that task, the activity, that they forgot to go to the bathroom or do anything else. They didn't need me at all. They did the work and it was so wonderful, even those kids that need more attention, they work very good. They were attentive, focused, all the time, a whole day. Wonderful. <laughs> There's different people involved in the Days of Taste. There's um, there was me, I was sort of the food professional, um, a culinary assistant, and then a professional chef, who in our case was David Waltuck of Chanterelle. Restaurant chefs get asked to do a lot of things. If, if I said yes to everything that I was asked to do, I would pretty much spend all my time doing benefits and donations. But this seemed like a really good um, thing to do and a really um, valuable thing to get involved in. The first day we went in and we had them taste all these different kinds of tastes. You know, there are five tastes basically, you know, sour, sweet, salty, bitter, and umami. Very, very few things that one would eat are composed of just one flavor and that flavors interact in different ways. They tasted you know, citric acid, they tasted salt, they tasted lemons, and then some other things that were gonna be like bitter, like endive, or I know some classes that tasted oysters, just things that kids had not had, you know, sort of been exposed to before. Our second day we went to the farmer's market and they, they did this great scavenger hunt. I mean, the farmer's market's hugely supportive of this program. So they got to see really local produce, um, you know, things that are produced in the area. A lot of these kids don't know that there's more than one kind of apple they don't know where potatoes grow, how they grow. Living in, in a city and living the, the life that most of us live, we're completely divorced from where food comes from. Our third day, we came back to the classroom and used some really fresh ingredients to make a salad and kids learned about vinaigrette. It's also a little science lesson. And the, the last one is a visit here. I talked a little bit about what my job is and what other people who work in the restaurant's jobs are and a little bit about how the whole thing sort of fits together. David also made a special menu for the day, so the kids got to have that as a keepsake. So the whole experience, I think, it, it really came together on that, on that last day when they saw, you know, here I've learned to make a salad, and I've learned about this produce, and I've learned these different tastes, and now here I am at this incredible restaurant, and, you know, this is where the taste and, you know, the salad and all the produce and everything kind of comes together for this experience. So um, 
I spoke to Spoons Across America, I spoke to the Digital Arts Alliance, and we got you know everybody on board. And what the Digital Arts Alliance could offer was to bring in you know a whole staff to make a short documentary about their experiences. DK is known for its incredible photographic books, and here we had all these images kids could choose from besides the photos that we'd already taken through the program. So we already had essentially everything that we needed, and you know, sort of Pearson Foundation was the glue that kind of brought everything together. It's a different experience when they're part of the process of making a documentary. It's an experience that will last a lifetime with our children because they'll be able to say, when I was a student at 282, I was able to make a documentary. Number one, it's different. So that right, I mean off the bat, that creates and sustains interest. Number two, it's a wonderful experience because they're learning through, through hands-on, through tactile activities, how to produce a documentary, something that will be evident for them to be able to share. And the bottom line is they were involved. They were independent and contributing thinkers to the process. This may plant the seed that will set their future. You know, and, and that's what we're all about. That we want to make learning fun, interesting, and as we work together with Pearson Foundation, with Spoons Across America, we want to continue to transform children's lives. The whole partnership with Spoons Across America and the Pearson Foundation, and in particular the Digital Arts Alliance, working together with the Green Market and the American Institute of Wine and Food and, and our tremendous volunteers. Why? Because we're looking to empower youngsters, we're looking for youngsters to understand how to think critically in life and to take these experiences and to take them into adulthood with them. Thank <laughs> you.